Hello, how are you today? That's a big smile. <laughs> Has lots of social presence and looking. Oh, yes. Can you look at me? Oh, all those bright lights. Aware of his environment, just looking around, taking things in. Okay. Oh. Yes. Just look right over. How about looking at me? Yes. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, that's a kind of a frown. Don't know what to do with this, huh? Yeah. There. Oh, can you smile for me? Can you smile for me? Yeah, that's a big smile. Very good. We're just going to do doll size. See how we can go back and forth. He has full range of motion, 180 degrees. And then we're going to do vertical. Okay. I don't know what to do with this, huh? Yeah, there. Oh, can you smile for me? Can you smile for me? Yeah, that's a big smile. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Should we pull you up to a sitting position? Okay. Now we're just going to do passive range of motion. Tone's good. Coming over the shoulder, but not beyond. And that's good. Traction maneuver. We can hold on to that as resistance. You can see that his hands are more open. They're open and they're closed, so they're not being held closed like in the, in the newborn period. And oftentimes they'll be bringing their hands to, to start looking at them. Yeah. And if we put an object in his hand, let's see if you can hold on to that. Won't take it, but if we hold it, put it in, grasp it, hold on to it. Okay. That's good. Let's try this side. Okay. Yes. What is that? So it holds on to the object. But it doesn't actually reach and grab the object. It has to be placed in his hand. But when we place it in his hand, we'll hold on to it. Okay. Very good. Look at the lower extremities now. Just do a range of motion at the hips. Good resistance, but not too tight. Again, looking at holding one side and flexing, and flexing the hip at the other side. And looking at the knee and being able to bring that up. That all looks normal. Good resistance, but not too much. Look at the ankle. Do, don't have any ankle clonus. That's fine. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to have you come to sitting, come to sitting. He's got some head lag there, but he should be able to bring his head up. Bring it up. We're going to just see that he's still rounded in his back. Okay, still kind of bobbly, but he can hold it there, and that's good. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm rolling. Okay. Okay. All right. Can we bring your arms up here? He gets his head up. Upon his forearms and looking up. Well, yeah, that's pretty good. Yes. He's eating up high enough that he'll be able to roll over here. Okay. And you can do it. And just about made it, huh? Okay. Very good. His head's up and his chest is off the mat. He's got his arms here, and that would be a good position for maybe his age. And there he goes. He's rolled over. And again, he gets his head up and is maintaining it above the, the plane of his body. He's trying to get his legs up too. And so he's opposing gravity at this point in time, just like he's going to be on the prone position. And so that's good. Put him into vertical suspension. 
And let's see if he'll support weight on his feet. He's got uh, support weight on his feet, so he's got a positive support reflex at this point in time. Okay, that's good. He doesn't slip through my hands, so he's got good shoulder girdle strength there. Okay. We're just going to test reflexes at this point in time, and we'll start here at the lower extremities. And just to relax. Brisk, but normal. You can get a little bit of a cross adduct adductor, which is this other side coming in and being adducted, and that can be normal at his age. Now we just do the ankle jerks. And do down here. Okay, just so you can see that. Come to relax. It's cooing, and that's good. Okay, just try over here. And over here is normal. And looking for triceps. At this age, we can frequently get triceps. Let's see if we can relax enough to do that. Okay. Difficult to do a little bit. Okay. Uh, up going toe, and then we just do this side. See the um, as a Babinski, and that's the way it would expect at the up going toe and the fanning of the toes, and that's expected at this age. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're going to look for Moreau. At this age, he may, may get fussy at this, but okay. okay. He's lost his moreau at this point in time, and it's usually this time that they do lose the moreau. So he doesn't have a moreau, so that's good. And let's just look at the gallant reflex, just the incurvation reflex, and just stroking the back. He still has a gallant, so he still has some of his primitive reflexes. The incurvation is going towards the stimulus. Okay. As far as a grass reflex, still has some grass reflex there. Some grass reflex there. And then let's take a look at his feet. Okay. We put his head in midline. Okay. He's moving both sides. He wants to turn a little bit this way. We put him this way. And we get into somewhat of an asymmetric uh, tonic neck. We can see this hand extended and this leg extended and the other side flexed. But he can overcome that. He's not obligate. We go over this way. Let's turn your head this way. And again, we should see. He doesn't like that that much. This head extend and this foot extend, and this side flex over here. Okay, that's an asymmetric tonic neck. Coming back over here again. And oftentimes we'll see the side where the head is turned towards in extension as far as the leg and the hand, and the other side in flexion. But he doesn't get stuck in that and. And he shouldn't be. She's able to get out of that.